smoothers yo what's good today we're gonna continue the olivia rodrigo marathon on this channel she just dropped this song called catch me now from the hunger games apparently there's gonna be like a seventh hunger games movie coming out but before we get started obviously if you like my reactions you want to see more go ahead and check out my patreon because i've been reacting to high school musical the musical the series over there which olivia rodrigo was in at one point in time also technique information over there i forgot about that singing technique because that's what this channel is about don't you forget it but also it's very nerdy real quick though before we even get into this movie songs are usually lower quality than non-movie songs it's true so let's see what's up There's something different about this. I mean, I guess it's for the movie, but there's something different about the chord progression of this acoustic guitar. Maybe it's the finger picking as well. I don't know that I've heard her sing over finger picking that that much. There's something different about this. This blood on the side of the mountain is riding all over the wall. Shadows of us are still dancing in every room and every hall. The snow falling over the city. It is, it's very strange to hear Olivia singing this style. It reminds me kind of of like uh, Ed Sheeran. I see fire the, the mountainside. Or whatever that song is. What is that? Is that, that, that song was for, uh, I see fire. Which has the same sort of like lyrical content, I suppose. The same sort of lyrical imagery of, you know, mountains, snow adventures it's interesting to hear her sing about this the bitter taste of my fury and all of the messes you made yeah you think that you got away but i'm in the trees i'm in the breeze my footsteps on the ground you'll see my face in every place but you can't catch me now Ooh, there is so much room in that very very gorgeous harmony that she's building there it makes me so excited for the bridge because i feel like that can oh my god <laughs> i almost ascended to the heavens and then she cut me off and i feel like she's doing that on purpose but anyway this is very well written so far never do it thought it'd go over my head i bet she figured i'd pass with the winter be something easy to forget Oh, you think I'm gone cause I left but What I think is also very cool is her use of that vibrato there. I've been trying to like listen for it. She is very, very precise about her use of vibrato. You know, there's this myth, and it is a myth. Don't get me don't don't get it twisted, okay? It is a myth that vibrato is like the healthy state that your voice is supposed to be in. And I was told this a lot by many different vocal coaches when I couldn't sing with vibrato. Everybody told me it's gonna come the better that you get. The better that you get, it's just gonna naturally become part of your voice. It never happened. I had to learn how to do vibrato. Do it. Thought it'd go over slight difference in that this verse i believe the first two lines or whatever don't end in vibrato they kind of end in hey, like this whispery fade out of her voice let's say and then vibrato kicks in i think not quite yet there oh you think i'm gone because i lived tons of control her vibrato is insanely i i'm a i'm very i'm very picky when it comes to the kind of vibratos that i personally like not that there's anything wrong there's lots of different vibratos that come in lots of different shapes and lots of different sizes lots of different speeds lots of different widths and by that i mean some are fast and small hey some are slow and wide oh, but i think she really does such a great job of finding this this great middle ground in her voice See my face in every place, but you can't catch me now. It's just so satisfying. Waiting grass, the months will pass. You feel it all. Let's see what it, let's see where this goes, dude. Don't let me down. Do not let me down. I'm turning it up. No, you can't catch 
Kills, dude. That was so good. You never know how much creative control someone is given in any, in any given circumstance, especially when it comes to movies or whatever. I have the feeling that this was all, almost all in her hands. Maybe she worked with someone slightly different because the instrumental sounds a little bit different than normal. But And these harmonies that we're hearing here, I heard these harmonies starting to sort of like get developed in Guts. You know, also in Sour as well, but Guts kind of brought them to a new level. This is Guts on another level. Like those harmonies... Oh my God! It's cr- like she—they they feel so precise and well crafted to make, create this insanely beautiful swell and climax to the song, which feels like we're in the climax. I feel like I'm climaxing right now. <laughs> By the way, I do have a reaction to Guts. You can check it out. There's gonna be a link to it up here, also in the description. <laughs> This is different. Like a storm into your town. You can you can catch me now. I'm higher than the hopes that you brought down. You can you can catch me now. This is so different and so cool. Oh my god, this song is so actually insanely good. Oh, I'm tearing up. We we don't usually hear her do these and I I I talked about this throughout my guts reaction. These shoutier sounds. You can you can't where the sound is hey, sort of shouty, right? She usually doesn't do that. And to hear her do that for basically this entire phrase with harmonies, like the harmonies also stacking that same sound is wild. That's something that people sometimes don't think about with harmonies. It's not just about the notes. It's also about the tone that's used within those harmonies. And there's something really cool to me about shouty harmonies. I love it. It could be that... I really like this, which, you know, we're, we're about to get real hillbilly out here, okay? Anyway, it reminds me of this style of choir singing. I did this style of singing for a couple of years for fun. I've done lots of funny things. <laughs> I can't really remember exactly what it is. I think it's like old American. I think 19th century American Southern choir music style. But anyway, that's not, that's not the point here. It is interesting to hear similar vibes here, right? And it gives, it gives you that kind of like a rustic sound, right? And by the way, the, that shouty quality, I'm, I'm yapping, I'm so sorry, but that shouty quality makes it sound more earthy, right? It makes it sound more real. And the reason why it, it you know, traditionally it was shouty was because it was sung by amateur singers. But these days, we kind of know that just because something is shouty doesn't necessarily mean it's amateur. You can utilize that sound to create this effect that she's doing here, which is very beautiful. And like I said, very earthy and raw feeling and when you are hit with this wall of these shouty sounds it ge- it gives you this like this almost like ah uh, you know what i'm saying Oh, I'm going to need to listen to that a lot. It's turning a new shade of red. Yes, sometimes the fire you found it don't burn the way you'd expect. Yeah, you thought that this was the end. Oh, Dude, that, it's, the, it's that perfect vibrato, I'm telling you. Let's see the comments. Actually, you know what? I'm going to read the comments on the Hunger Games YouTube channel. We're going to get some non-stand comments, right? This is a lyrical masterpiece. I'm grateful to live in the era of the Hunger Games. Huh? Huh? It's actually impossible for Olivia to miss. She is that good. I'm not an Olivia fan, but this song is just... Okay, I don't know what that means. It's a little bit too Gen Z for me. 
W song for Hunger Games. Not gonna lie, not an Olivia super fan, but the song fits the movie perfectly. Good job, Olivia. It's hitting even with the non-Olivia fans. So that's how you know it's good. This is actually like debatably my favorite song from her. Like I, it's hard because all of her songs have different vibes and they fit different things. Very, very shocked and very surprised to get what we got here. And you can just tell that she put so much effort into everything that she does and every time she does a new style i can tell that she really nerds out and does her homework on exactly what she's trying to get and what she's going for and then she incorporates that into what she's doing this was not one of those like lazy cash grab like oh they hired me to do this let me just bust something out real quick which happens a lot of times with movie soundtracks <laughs> anyway hopefully you enjoyed my video be sure that you check me out on my patreon as i said lots you know a good amount more of olivia content over there also check out my reaction Action to guts whether you are or are not an olivia fan check that out because i think you'd be interested in that also subscribe to the channel of course hit me with that like button and until next time tristans peace